back at it again. So today we're going to be working on the valve cover gasket on my 535 IS sporting an M30 engine. If you call last week's video, I was replacing the voltage regulator and the alternator and cleaning off some of the grounds. And while I was cleaning off the grounds, I accidentally snapped one of the studs that holds the valve cover down all the way in the back. I'll show that to you right now. So we don't really need to be replacing the valve cover gasket. I just want to replace that stud. So since we're replacing that stud, we might as well replace the valve cover gasket at the same time. I already took off the air box and a few other parts. So if you want to see exactly how to do that step by step, go check out some of my other videos. I believe the ones where we change out the injectors. But uh, for now, we're just going to be working with this, take a few things, a few extra things off and replace that gasket and that stud. So we finally got the valve cover off, but if you didn't notice, while I was unbolting the valve cover, I accidentally snapped another stud bolt. This was the one we had an issue with, and now we also snapped this one. So, I'm probably gonna have to wait for a replacement. I just overnighted a new part. So we're just gonna start by backing those two stud bolts out, and we'll probably get the valve cover back on in the morning. After about an hour of messing around, we finally got our stud bolts out. I just ended up using the double nut method and just reversed it right out of the head. But since I did snap a second stud bolt, I'm going to be waiting for that overnight part to get here. So we're going to pick this up tomorrow. 
tomorrow. And we're back. Before we begin, I just want to give a quick shout out to FC Piero for getting me these parts here on time so quickly. And just for reference, I did go down to the BMW dealership and they ordered me the wrong stud. And on top of that, they charged me nine bucks for one nut. So I do feel a little violated, but leave it to FCP Euro to do BMW's job. So without wasting any more time, let's get those stud bolts out and that gasket back in. All right, gang, we got everything put back into the car without any issues. Studs are in, new gaskets in. So last thing to do is turn the car on and see if she runs. Just like that, another job done. I'm gonna have to give another shout out to FCP Euro for getting me the parts on time so quickly. I couldn't have done it without them. I'm glad I can get this car back on the road after two weeks in the garage. But uh, if I helped you out in any sort of capacity, definitely leave a like and subscribe. We got another job down and a lot more to come. Thanks again. Good luck, guys.